chocolate bars weigh one and a half pounds each. You have two whole chocolate bars of these in your locker, plus half of another one. How many pounds of chocolate do you have all together? Well, we can first start by figuring it out by adding all our pieces together. I have one whole pound here and another pound there. We can put our two halves together to make a third pound, and then our half a chocolate bar is worth three-fourths of a pound. So all together we have three and three-fourths pounds of chocolate. We don't always have our chocolate bars to add together, so instead of adding our pieces together, we could also solve this by multiplying two and a half bars times one and a half pounds each. Now a lot of times when people try to multiply mixed numbers, they try to multiply the whole numbers together and then the fractions. If we try to do that, two times one gives me two, and one half times one half gives me one fourth. So if we did it that way, that would say we only had two and a fourth pounds of chocolate. Well, we already know that we should have three and three fourths, so there must be another way. Instead, to multiply two and a half by one and a half, we're gonna to have to make improper fractions. To change two and a half to an improper fraction, I multiply my denominator of two by my whole number of two to give me four pieces, plus the one I already have to give me a total of five halves. I can then do the same thing with one and a half. Two times one gives me two, plus my one piece in the numerator gives me a total of three, so one and a half would be worth three halves. Now I can multiply my five halves times three halves. Five times three gives me 15, two times two gives me four, so we have 15 fourths. 15 fourths is an improper fraction that we can change to a mixed number by dividing our numerator by our denominator. Four goes into 15 three times, and my remainder of three becomes my new numerator, so in lowest terms we have three and three fourths pounds. We can see by doing it that way, I get the same amount as when we added the pieces of chocolate together themselves. When we multiply mixed numbers, we first need to change them into improper fractions. I need to multiply my denominator times my whole number. Three times one gives me three, and then add that amount to my old numerator. So three plus two gives me a total of five, and my denominator of three stays the same. We can then do the same thing to our other fraction. I can multiply four times two together to give me eight, and then add those eight pieces to the three I already have to give me a total of 11, and my denominator of four stays the same. Five thirds times 11 fourths. Multiplying my numerators together gives me 55. Multiplying my denominators together gives me 12. 55 over 12 is an improper fraction, so we have to change that to a mixed number. We can do that by dividing our numerator of 55 by our denominator of 12. 12 goes into 55 four times and my remainder of 7 becomes my new numerator. So in lowest terms our answer is going to be 4 and 7 twelfths.